please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So today, I want to talk about Mika Zibanejad, who is absolutely lighting it up for the New York Rangers right now, having by far his best season in his NHL career. Um, just been absolutely unreal here, specifically since the All-Star break for New York. But uh, I'm going to end up doing these videos for a lot of different players who, who are having career best seasons or breakout seasons this year. But I wanted to start with Zibanejad because he has just been absolutely unreal over the last few weeks for the New York Rangers as he, along with Artemi Panarin, pushed the Rangers towards a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. So let's get into it here. Before I start, I just quickly ask that you please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like as those thumbs up really go a long way in helping the channel. We've got tons of great hockey content coming your way as we head towards the postseason here. But Let's take a look at Mika Zibanejad's numbers this season. 56 games played. So he has missed time with injury earlier in the year. He's only played 56 games so far. 40 goals, his first 40 goal season in the NHL. 34 assists for 74 points, tying a career high that he set last year. But last year, he played the full 82 games and had 74 points. This year, he has 74 points in just 56 games. And obviously, the Rangers still have, what, 11, 12 or so games left in the season. Um, so he's still got time to blow that number away. He is going to have, by far, his best year in the NHL this season. He already has, but it, he's going to blow those numbers away. I think he's going to push towards 45 to 50 goals. I think he's going to push towards 90 points. And it's going to be Mika Zibanejad's career best season, at least for now, in the NHL this year. Um, he's been absolutely unreal. First 40-goal season. But particularly since the All-Star break, and I'm going to pull up some numbers here. 21 games for Mika Zibanejad since the All-Star break. 22 goals in those 21 games, including a massive, massive game last week. Um, 13 assists as well. 81 shots uh, in over 21 minutes of almost 22 minutes of ice time per game. Zibanejad has been absolutely on fire, absolutely on fire since um, coming back from, from the All-Star break here. 22 goals in 21 games, 35 points in 21 games. Are you kidding me? Those are absolutely unreal, absolutely unreal numbers for Mika Zibanejad. And, you know, he's not even leading the team in points. Artemi Panarin is the point leader with over 90 already for the Rangers. Zibanejad... 26 years old, just coming into his his uh, prime in the NHL. Just still a young guy, just entering those prime years of 26, 27, 28, around there, where uh, he's really going to be playing at the absolute top of his game. I think the best is yet to come for Mika Zibanejad. You know, he's missed time with injury this year. He's still going to go over 80, probably over 85 points this season. Um, you know, imagine next year or the year after you're going to see Mika Zibanejad pushing 100 points probably over 100 points at some point in his NHL career he and Zibin he and uh, Panarin are both locked into long-term deals with the Rangers they're going to be together playing together on that top line for the foreseeable future Zibanejad and Panarin are going to be a dynamic duo for a long time to come at the NHL level and we're going to see, I think, both of their numbers continue to rise, particularly Zibanejad. I think Panarin's already a guy who's going to be, you know, probably a 100-point guy this year. Zibanejad, if he can stay healthy and play a full season and play 80, 81, 82 games, Zibanejad is going to be a 100-point player within the next few years, I believe. I think he is going to be a 100-point player either next year or the year after if he stays healthy. He's that good. And playing with Panarin just bumps everything up all, all the more for him. And that's going to be one of those dynamic duos in the NHL like we see with McKinnon and Rantanen and uh, Bergeron and Pasternak. And... Um, you know, Goodrow and Monahan, and so many of those top lines 
and obviously McDavid and Drysaddle, who are the premier duo in the NHL, even though they don't even play on the same line anymore. Um, you know, it's it's just it's going to be unreal. What I think what we see what Mika Zibanejad can do at the NHL level, and when you go back to when he first came to the Rangers. His first season with the New York Rangers was 2016-17. He played 56 games that year. Obviously, he missed time that season with injury. He played 56 games that year. He had 37 points. 37 points in 56 games his first year with the New York Rangers. Now, that was four years ago now. He was 22 years, excuse me, 22 years old. Now, he's 26. In 2019-20, with 56 in 56 games played with the Rangers, he has 74 points. I mean, he's dub almost doubled his point total. He has doubled his point total. He's doubled his point total in 56 games from his first season with the Rangers to where he is now. And he's just going to keep getting better, and he's going to keep playing with Panarin, and they're going to keep putting up unbelievable numbers. I mean, you look at it, he had... He had a couple 20-goal seasons with Ottawa. He had a 27-goal season with the Rangers in 17-18. In Last year, he had his first 30-goal NHL season. We had 30 goals and 44 assists for New York. This year, he has his first 40-goal season, and he's got 74 points in 56 games. Un I mean, it's, it's unreal. And his, his numbers since the All-Star break with the, with the 35 points in 21 games, 22 of those points being goals, is just ridiculous. You don't see this very often at the NHL level. This is just an absolute breakout here recently for Mika Zibanejad. And he's launching himself up to being a star player in the NHL. He is a legitimate top-line star player. And, and I think that's going to continue for, the, for him and the Rangers. And I think they've got a really, really good young team there. I think him playing with Panarin is going to be a huge boost as they can form that dynamic duo. And um, the future is very, very bright for the New York Rangers. I don't know if they get into the playoffs or not this year. Obviously, there are a lot of teams fighting for that position. Um, it's going to be tough. For, they're still young. They don't really have that experience yet to get into the postseason, but they still, they're within striking distance of a wild card spot. And if they don't get into the playoffs this year, I certainly think that they're going to next year. Um, I 100% believe the Rangers will be a playoff team next year. And uh, Mika Zibanejad is going to be a huge reason why, along with their young goaltending, along with um, with Artemi Panarin, and, and just this team's continued imp uh, improvement here as they go through this quick rebuilding process. They haven't been good the last couple of years. They're starting to get better. They're showing signs of significant improvement to where, you know, they're in the playoff race now. And I think if they don't get in this year, they certainly will next year. I think they'll be a, 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 a wild card team next season at the very least. And we'll see what they do in the offseason. But Mika Zibanejad is a star forward for the New York Rangers, and he's going to be for it for the foreseeable future. And I think this kid has a ton of potential. This guy is going to be a 100-point scorer at the NHL level. I think it's coming in a season in the next couple years when he stays healthy and doesn't miss time. Uh, he has missed time this year, but he's still going to push 90 points. And just 35 points in his last 21 games. Are you kidding me? 35 points in 21 games. That is absolutely unbelievable. And Mika Zibanejad, guys, is, is definitely having his best year in the NHL. And I think he has another gear even higher than this that he can go. And he can probably end up being a 100-point guy uh, in, the, in the future here for the Rangers. But what a, what a season for Mika Zibanejad. And, man, that, uh, that trade for Ottawa, trading for Derek Broussard... Uh, is looking worse and worse for the Ottawa Senators. But obviously back then when that trade was made, nobody knew that Mika Zibanejad was going to become this type of player. I mean, like I said, his first season with the Rangers, he only had 37 points. So Mika Zibanejad has come a long, long way over the past three, four years. And um, I, I just can't wait to see where it goes because he is going to be, you know, I think he's going to be a real legitimate star player, maybe even push up into the superstar range here um, for, for the Rangers, and I think he and Artemi Panarin are going to be one hell of a duo on, a, on Broadway there for, for the blue shirt. So with that, guys, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe.
Follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.